Yo, what's up with it? It's your boy, Noonie. It's Leo in the third house, and we back with another reading. Yo, what's up with it? This your boy, Noonie, and it's Leo in the third house, back with another reading. This is going to be another pick a card reading. Going to be asking a question, who's going to reach out to you next? Now, this could be romantic. This could be platonic. Um, this could be whatever. Just who's going to reach out to you and why? Just curious, you know what I mean? Just to see what's going to happen, see what can happen. And I, I want these to be generalized so that you can probably look at these like even down the line, like timeless. You know, I like all my readings to be timeless because whenever you see them is when you were meant to get the message. So that's that. I'm going to come up with the why as well. The tarot is going to represent the why. And uh, um, I got this, uh, I think it's the Moon Oracle deck. Anyway, I'm using that as well with the tarot for the why why they want to reach out to you okay so um i got four piles as always i'm sure you've seen that pile selection um thanks to those people who be liking sharing subscribing commenting getting involved thank y'all very much thanks to those people who trusted me doing those personal readings during my vacation there was no stress i very much appreciate y'all still uh you know trusting in me during that time i'm a capricorn so i'm gonna work during times when i should be taking a break so that's just how it works for me. <laughs> um, if I sound low, I promise, I promise today will be the last day. While I was in Florida, I went to like four different Best Buys and none of them had a microphone for my phone. So that was it. I couldn't find it. So I just had to use my AirPods, or my, my AirPods. But anyway, uh, I should have a mic today. I'm going to go to Best Buy here now that I'm back home. I know for sure we have microphones here, so. That's not going to be an issue. So I'm going to make that happen. But anyway, thanks for being here with me anyway during this time. So without doing too much talking, because, you know, I'll ramble and I'll talk all day about me. Um, take a look at these piles or pile, piles, whatever one fits for you. Pick your pile. This is pile one. This is pile two. This is pile three. This is pile four. All right. I'm going to get started over here with Boom, pile one. So, pile one. Who's going to reach out to you next and why? Could be a Scorpio, could be a Pisces, could be an Aquarius. They might be hitting you up about your craft or something evolving. Someone has some type of resentment towards you, or if it's not towards you, they're having some type of, uh, mm, no, they might be having a resentment towards you. There's a resentment towards your transformation. Someone's secretly upset about that. Uh, this could be an artist. This could be someone who's a creator. Um, this person has some type of power. They have support. They also have good fortune. So this person is, they're abundant. They have success of some sort. They could be very attractive as well. Um, but this is a person who, who may be presently in your life, um, they're like here and now. And the reason for it is because they feel like you've guarded yourself or like you're looking for something else. It's like there's no conversation. There's no no communication. Um, they feel like you're transforming or like you're having a brand new beginning, like you're re like you're having a rebirth. Now, this is a person who, who um, they show love from a, like a detached place. They, they kind of pretend like they're not interested or they pretend that they don't care as much. You know, with this detached energy, this Aquarius energy and the here and now, it's more of an energy of them kind of acting as if they don't care. It's, this is a person that you would have to trust your intuition with, you know, because they're not very clear with what their intentions are. They're not very clear with their with their communication now. Um, and they're not telling you that they're angry. You know, what I mean, they're like this is a person that expects you to know. Because here it says being angry is like holding coal in your hands, expecting the other person to feel the pain. So this is a person who has secret resentment against you, but they're not letting you know. You know, what they're trying to do is disrupt your way of thinking. They're trying to get you maybe on one one accord. You guys may not be communicating with this King of Swords. Um, it's like they're waiting for you. They're, 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 they're getting impatient. They're waiting for you to say something or to communicate or to heal the situation. You know, this is a person who you may take care of or you guys may work together with the economy. Um, you guys may take care of regular everyday responsibilities or they may be thinking that you need to take care of them. They feel like... Uh, it's almost like um, entitled energy, kind of like I feel like like they feel like you need to reach out to them. Like there's no conversation, no communication. 
Um, it's really that's really big for them. This is a person who has some type of core truth that they want to speak with you. But they're seeing you go through some type of transformation or you're becoming somebody else and they're and they're feeling resentful about it. They feel like you're um, they feel conflicted. They feel like you're becoming aligned with something or that you're, you're getting some type of comeuppings or some new fortune that's coming along. Um, this person wants to really just kind of like they want to be lighthearted with you. All right. They really want to just uh, focus on like what's going to make the situation or connection better. They, they want to find a way to kind of make this situation better, but they feel like they're not seeing you quite clearly. You know, they kind of, it's, it could be like a power dynamic, like a push pull type of thing where um, it's, it's when I say power dynamic, it's like um, <clears throat> purposely maybe holding back from each other or purposely not communicating in a way to make the other person feel pain or make the other person feel guilt or make the other person feel shame. One of you are doing this. It's something like that, something like someone's holding back so that the other person doesn't recognize that they have the power or, you know, what I mean? it's like you guys are clamoring for power control or something like that, some type of control. And that's what this is about. But this person holds a, a resentment and, uh, for you and they're they're getting uh, fed up with this lack of communication or with this lack of clarity that you're providing them. They feel like you're being a bit detached as well. And it's probably because they're giving the same type of energy, the energy of not really caring. So you may be giving off this energy of not caring or not, not, uh, not communicating and possibly looking for other opportunities or possibly waiting for things to play out in your favor in another direction. Because that's what it feels like. It feels like you're on guard with them or weary of them, but you're looking for new opportunities. You don't want to talk really, but you're like, you know, it's like an energy of like, we'll talk if you want to, but if you don't say the right thing, then it's off with your head. You know what I mean? Or, or we got to fight or there's going to be tension. You know what I mean? It's, it's some of that energy, you know, and it's, it's like both of you guys are holding. It's kind of like you want them to come with, do the right thing. You know what I mean? Because it's really like a, a it's really just a, a fight here. Not a big fight, but it's like, it's really just a push and pull. Like, you know, somebody wants control. Somebody wants power. Both of you want control or power over this dynamic, you know, and they, this person could feel like, uh, they could feel like in this energy of poverty, like, like they don't, they're not supported. Like you're not helping them. Like you're not taking care of them. Like their needs aren't being met because we have root chakra here. So they're worried about their needs being met. They feel like you're not meeting their needs or you could feel like they're not meeting your needs. It could be that energy because that's economy is here for the reason why it's because they want to be taken care of. You know, they want you to take care of them somehow or they want you to handle some type of responsibility with them. They want you to put them first. You know, and maybe that's what it is. They want you to put them first. And they just feel like you're not putting them first, that you're instead looking for another opportunity or you're looking looking out into the distance for something else to happen. Like you maybe you're planning or strategizing to go somewhere else and they feel like you're on guard with them. You're not open to them. You're not receptive to them. All right. And this is just a person, like I said, this is a person that you have to use your intuition. They could be very intuitive. They could be somewhat uh, psychic as well. You know what I mean? But they use their they use their intuitive knowing as a way of, of power, as a way of gaining control of the dynamic. So when they do share love or when they do show love, it's in a form to kind of like confuse you and in a sense to have you kind of like stuck with them or stuck in their muck. You know what I mean? And when you don't fall for it, this person basically shows you their fury or they get resentful and it's secretly, you know, it's, it's, it's because they're seeing you grow. So they're resenting you for growing and they're resenting you for trying not to, for not wanting to heal the situation. You're not the one trying to fix the situation and they resent you for that. You know, this person feels like you're attracting abundance. They feel like you're getting new things in and that new opportunities are coming here and that you're really enjoying yourself and they don't like that. You know, they want you to be more calm and more reserved they want you to be more laid back and kind of like waiting. I feel like they want you to kind of wait, you know, wait for them to, I guess, <laughs> make things better. You know what I mean? That's that's kind of what it feels like. They want they want to wait, you know, so they're going to reach out as an intent to kind of force your hand to make to like heal this situation. You know, what I mean, it's, it's kind of like it's kind of it's not on the fence. It's almost an energy of um, like they like walking on eggshells, like they have to say the right thing. They have to say the right words. And so that's why they want to reach out because they kind of want to get you off of this energy of feeling like, um, like they're a bad guy, like you have a boundary up. And so they kind of want you to lower this boundary. They want to heal this situation. They want to heal the tension, you know, and they, that's, that's really what it is. They maybe they want to offer an apology or they want to offer some type of gift, you know, I mean, maybe flowers, but it's some type of peace treaty, you know, because you guys haven't been talking or communicating. So they want to offer some type of peace treaty, maybe money, you know what I mean? But it's not too much emotion. Like they don't want to come off as pressed. They don't want to come off as if they care too much. So they're going to still come off as aloof 
and they're going to still come off as as like guarded you know but they're going to try to find a way to like not seem as guarded or not seem as upset as they are you know what i mean because that's really what it is they don't want you to know that they're really upset because they want you to really have to use your intuition and feel how they're feeling they want you to kind of like pick it up without them telling you that so that's what they're going to do they're going to reach out in an attempt to get you to make the situation better you know what i mean they don't really want to do it themselves they want you to use your intuition to figure out what would make them feel better so yeah so let's go over the signs one more time we have scorpio we have pisces we have aquarius we have libra gemini aquarius and we have sagittarius so this could be you could be that sign could be the energy that they're going to be in but that's who this person is okay so Power one, that was your reading. Thanks for watching. This your boy Nuni, and it's Leo in the third house. Boom, pile two. So, pile two, who's gonna reach out to you next? Could be a Scorpio, could be an Aries. Somebody in your community, somebody who you work with, you have a level of intimacy with them. Um, they're very nurturing. This person is a person who uh, doesn't always follow their intuition. They could be a very a bit analytical, but very optimistic. Um, but they, they could be optimistic about things that end or things that could be ending, like the inevitable. They're, they're optimistic about things that aren't stable or things that they know aren't right or a way of being that isn't right. All right, now this is a person who could be uh, very self-deceiving of themselves. Like they, they feel like they're just kind of trusting spirit or they're going after uh, where spirit is leading them, but they may be deceiving themselves because it's like, uh, would, would let spirit be your guide? There are signs and synchronicities that are being shared with them, but they're not paying attention or they're not noticing them, you know, but they are, that's why, okay, that's why the Seven of Swords is here with this because you have an energy of them trusting in spirit but at the same time not following the signs and synchronicities when it shows up into their life now this could be someone who's part of your network part of your community um part of your neighborhood or this is someone who could be like part of your family you share a level of intimacy with them now this could be someone who's disloyal or they have more than one partner um but they are a person who's fair somehow so maybe it's just that when, when it comes to disloyalty they just don't share uh intimate feelings and emotions they're not quite honest about their true feelings and intentions they don't really let that be known they kind of hide they have fears of intimacy but this is a person who's very fair they are a gift giver um they're very sexual um they may even have some type of i want to say like an inheritance or some type of money um this may even be taboo because the eighth house represents taboo or taboos so it could be some type of taboo relationship or some type of taboo situation um now this person is very goal oriented goal orientated that they really want to go after what it is that they want and and they can be a bit impulsive because it says it feels good to be lost in the right direction so this person could be a bit impulsive but whatever it is that they do they're okay with it now they may be into music very heavily or they may be a, a, a singer or they may be a, a, like a music producer or something of that sort. They may just be an artist, but I feel like music is what really gets them. Like they may be a dancer. They might be someone who kind of, you know, likes to get up and shake their tail feather. Um, we do have Pisces energy here and we have Scorpio and Aries energy here and we have Gemini energy here. You know, so this is a person who, who who's a creator. They like to create with pleasure. So they could be like an artist. I, well, I want to say like a singer, a dancer maybe. They're a creator for sure, but they're taking some time out to rest. Um, they do they do a lot of creative pursuits. All right, this person is a person who does a lot of creative pursuits, um, but I think currently they may be kind of lost or confused on where they want to go with their creation, or kind of lost and confused. It's almost like they have writer's block, maybe, and maybe what they want to do is get with you. Oh yeah, that's what they want to do. They want to get with you because this this is a sign of Gemini. This is about using your creative. Uh, creative powers or intensities to help others so they want to reach out to you in a way to oh promotion they want to either promote you or they want you to help promote them you know they want you to use your okay because they're having like a tower moment you know they're feeling like things aren't working out for them or things are crumbling and they're feeling and, go, and it, so they're still pessimistic about it but things are like they're not really looking at things clearly they're, they're just kind of like hoping 
that things make themselves work. And so they want to reach out to you because you have creative abilities or you're very talented. You know how to handle complexity, complex ideas. So they want to work with you in a sense to promote themselves, you know what I mean? To get maybe to help them, to nurture them. I feel like you want, they want you to nurture maybe their creative abilities. You know, this is a person who's, uh, they want to share something with you. That's what it's about. Like, that's what this relationship is about. They want to share some type of either secret with you or they want to invest with you or some sort. And they feel like spirit is leading them to you, you know, but they're not really quite listening to all the signs and synchronicities that are being given to you. This is a person, they got psychic abilities because we have this here, Serena the Divine, and we have the moon here. So they have psychic abilities, all right? They're very intuitive, you know, and they just want to collab with you. I feel like they want to do something balanced and fair where they collab with you and it's very nurturing. This person could be a person who's normally all in their head. I, I, with the Seven of Swords, like I said, I feel like they're just overthinking it. You know, this is about either it's one of two things. So this, this could be two scenarios. One, this could be sexual because we have the sacral chakra here, or this could be creative. You know what I mean? Or it could be a both, a mixture of both because I'm looking at this to be fair, which could be like a balance. So it could be a balance of both. Like you guys could be having like a, a relationship where you guys are also into a partnership and it may be taboo because you guys, you know, a relationship that also that's sexual that also turns into a business partnership could be kind of a sticky situation. So that it could be considered taboo. It may be something similar to that. Or it could just be like where you guys have some type of sexual attraction and you guys are working, working a, a relationship or working a, a business, working to build something together. You know, because that's what it is. Like, it's a connection. You guys have a, some type of connection together, and it may be a bit taboo. Um, but it's 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 breaking you outside of your natural tendencies. That's that's what this person is here to do. They're breaking you, or and that's what you're here to do, too. Like, they want you to break break them out of this facade because they, they feel like they're living, uh, I guess I want to say that they feel like they're not living their truth. Or like they're, they're, like they're, they're, they're not being true to themselves. That's what this person feels like. So they're reaching out to you and a way for you to use your creative gifts and skills to help them to promote new ideas or to promote some type of fresh brand new beginning for them because they feel like they're lost, but they feel like being lost with you or being around you, you'd be able to lead them to where they need to go. Maybe maybe this person is from California. Uh, they feel like, like working with you or they're from like a sunny state, a warm state. <clears throat> they feel like uh, that you'd be able to lead them in the right direction or that uh, even if they're, even if you don't, necessarily have all the answers they feel like just being around you is good enough so it's something like that like they feel like just being around you is good enough like they want you to be gentle with yourself so this person would reach out in a sense to kind of uh to, to they want you to kind of use your your wit and your skills or your mental abilities or your creative abilities to help them patch a situation that's falling apart they feel like you could repair it you know now if this could be between y'all or it could be between something else that they got going on they feel like you'd be able to repair it. They have like this optimistic view about you. They feel like you're able to make things happen or make things uh, better, make things come in. You know, things that, that aren't quite able to be seen, they feel like you can bring them into fruition. So that's why they want to get with you. They feel like they can't do that. Even though they have the skills to do it, they feel like they can't do it. So they, they're reaching out to you because they feel like you can do it. They, they have more faith in your abilities than their own. You know what I mean? And so that's why they would be reaching out to you to basically get you to help promote their ideas, their skills, their abilities, to give them new ideas, to give them a fresh new view on life. And they're, and they're hoping that you could do that. They feel like even though they're lost, wherever you're going it has to be in the right direction. So they want to tag along. OK, that's their goal. All right. And it's a person who, who's very attractive, though. Their physical appearance is something that you're going to notice. You know, they're very sexually alluring and very physically uh, appealing. So even if it's just a business, I mean, like, even if it's just like platonic, you're like, you're going to recognize them by being very sexually attractive and very physically attractive with the air of mystery to them and a feeling of not knowing if you can really trust them. That's going to be like that type of energy and not knowing if you can really trust them. But they're going to give off energy being very fair, very balanced and very lone wolfish or very independent where they get things done and they don't always listen to their inner guidance or listen to, uh, they don't listen to good, um, they don't always listen to good, uh, good advice. They don't listen to good, wholesome advice. They kind of like do their own thing. You know, they like to discover things on their own and they always have an optimistic view about even, even in the, in the worst of times when things are falling apart, they always kind of feel like this can get back on track. This could get better. And they feel like you have the, the, the wherewithal or the ideas or the creative ingenuity to be able to do that for them or at least to point them in the right direction. Okay. So, yeah. So, let's go over the signs one more time. We got Scorpio. We have Aries. We have 
uh, can't, I mean, Pisces, Pisces, it could be Cancer too. So let's say Cancer. We have Scorpio and we have Aries and we have Gemini. So, but then, like I said, this is a person who's all in their head or is usually in their head. They could be very religious. That's what's coming up here then too. So anyway, uh, pile two, that was your reading. Thanks for watching. This is your boy Uni and it's Leo in the third house. Boom, pile three. So, pile three. Who's gonna reach out to you next and why? We have Gemini, Cancer, Aquarius, Uh, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and maybe Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay. Now this person is spying on you. They're getting information on you. They're like investigating you. They're going to be bold. They're going to be the one that's going to make the first move for sure. All right. They, this is a person who may, may be um, detached from you or, or they may be moody. This could be like a moody type of person, person who maybe has secrets as well. They're different from you for sure, but they're very social. They're very outgoing, but this person could be a bit nitpicky or very, um, they are very, they micromanage people. They might even be a manager, but they micromanage people. Like they always, they're very critical of other people and their mistakes. Okay. This person, if they see people make mistakes, they, they pretty much like mention it or, or shout it out like, Hey, you know what I mean? But this is also a person who you were meant to meet. They're a very expansive person. They're, they're in their field of expertise or they're in their field of uh, where they're meant to be. Like they know, like they're, they're where they're meant to be. All right. Because with the show the world, the real you, they are where they're meant to be. Now, this could be a leader of some sort. This could be a person who, um, you know, they maybe they're on the internet because with the Aquarius energy, I feel like internet type of person. And with the North Node, they're being seen. All right. But this person may have secrets. They have some level of success. And what they're trying to do is maybe stop your success. They want to offer offer you something because they feel like you're independent, and they feel like you're having more options or more or more things going on. They they want to what they want to do is kind of like cloud. They want to stop you basically is what I'm saying. Like they want to stop your success because we have the uh, the Ace of Cups and stability and Seven of Cups in reverse. So they want to kind of like throw a monkey wrench in your stability because they see you as being as having brand new opportunities and being very stable, being very independent with this Nine of Pentacles having brand new beginnings and having a lot of self-love. They feel like you're like very comfortable and they feel like you have other opportunities or other uh, other options, other avenues to go down. Now, this is a person who's very time oriented or they it could be a business, a business person, man, woman. Um, oh yeah, this could be also a Capricorn. This could be a um, Aries. This could be a Libra or this could be a Cancer. because This is a cardinal sign too. That could be in their moon. It could be like a Libra moon, Cancer moon, Capricorn moon, or a uh, Aries moon, you know, or that could be their sun sign. But basically, <clears throat> this person sees you being independent and they see you having brand new beginnings and love and they feel like you have a lot of different options and you're very stable. You're very independent. You're just like the most eligible bachelor, bachelorette. And they, and they want to kind of like stop that. That's really what it is. They want to stop that. They want to repeat a cycle or a pattern with you. They want this to go all over again. This person at this moment feels powerless, all right? They want to be very uplifting towards you. They kind of want to be your cheerleader. Now, this person is very different from you because that's, that's the big thing. Like, they differ from you, all right? And because I'm looking at this as a, as a five, so there was some type of tension or stress with them. And they're very, like I said, they're very nitpicky, but they're also very confident. And this could be a person who's normally alone. Or they, they, they teach people how to be alone. They teach people something like that. Like they teach people, uh, they, they uplift other people. You know, that's why I say that maybe they can have like a social platform because show the world the real you. I feel like the World Wide Web, people see them on the World Wide Web. Maybe they post on their Instagram, they post on their Facebook, post on their YouTube, post on their TikTok, you know, and they cheer people up. You know, they make people feel more empowered, you know. Um, but there's also a person who's very usually alone. Um, they could be a person who, who, because uh, with this with this desert, it looks like like they spend a lot of time alone and it may not be what they want to do, but it's just like they've just grown to be alone. And so, you know, maybe like heavy, I, I heard heavy is the uh, the head that wears the crown. So maybe they're like in charge of something and they feel like they have to keep a level of detachedness from other people. 
you know, but they, and, and that's probably why it's like, they feel like you're having new opportunities and like you're comfortable alone, but you're having other people are offering you love and they're not quite comfortable alone because maybe they're, be, they're too nitpicky with people or they get easily bored with people, you know? So this is a person who's hypersensitive. They may even, you may even have a family with them or they have a fam. Well, of course, most people have a family. But there's like a, a energy of having some type of emotional connection with them. There's an emotional depth. And this person kind of like feels you. They feel protective over you. They feel like um, just it, they feel kind of anxious. There's, this is an anxious feeling. You know what I mean? Like they're hap They're not happy alone, but they're going to give off the facade as being happy alone. This is a person who, like I said, they're very authentic to themselves. But they could be a bit bold with the way that they express themselves. It's kind of like in your face. Um. They are a bit impatient and very self-critical of, of them and of themselves and others. Uh, but like mostly they feel like like uh, like they're powerless in this connection. They want to be bold and make they're going to make a move, but they feel like they can't control the situation. Their intent is just to stop you from having a brand new beginning because they feel like you're fully independent and having your choice or pick of options. You know, they feel like you're being stable. So what they want to do is kind of like disrupt your stability. They want to confuse you make you feel like like you don't have any viable opportunities or any viable options they want to kind of come back and make you feel like you may make a bad decision they want to convince you that you're going to make a bad decision and that it's better for you to be alone or that you don't need to have other people around you know like they want to kind of like tell you like to water your cup or they may want to offer some type of emotional connection with you it's something like that either they want you to be single and just loving yourself or they want to offer you some type of emotional connection so that you don't look at these other opportunities that are there because that's really their whole to their whole goal is just to stop you from starting something brand new because they feel like like you know you guys have a family or like you're a sense of home to them you know they because i'm thinking of cancer as the fourth house so they feel like maybe you're a family maybe you have a family with them or they feel like um like they just know you, like they just get you, like you just get them. You know what I mean? Like this is a person who's very talkative, very curious, very inquisitive. They may ask about your personal stuff, your personal life, you know, and it's just an intent to keep you from starting a brand new cycle or brand new opportunities with other people. They feel like everybody is around you or like other people are around you and like you're on, like you're being viewed, you know, maybe you're, maybe you're online as well because the world is here. And I think of the world as being the world wide web. So they maybe see you as being, you know, um, on the web or, or getting a lot like they just see you as getting a lot of attention and being comfortable in your own skin and being able to take care of yourself and just having a lot of love for yourself and they want to kind of they, they it's not kind of they want to disrupt it but i don't see it as a malicious way they want to disrupt it so that they can get into that place and rebuild something with you they want to uplift you and they want to um they, they want to be optimistic about what can happen. And this person may be a person, like I said, who carries secrets or has secrets. And I think the secrets are that they feel like you guys are running out of time or like they didn't make the most of the time with you. You know, and that's kind of what it is. And they just kind of like come back in now because they see you having something brand new on the way. And they just want to like, you know, cock block, you know, or cooch block. If that's a word. You know what I mean? So. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm picking up. So let's go over the signs one more time. We have Gemini, Cancer, Virgo, Taurus, uh, Capricorn, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Aquarius again. So this could be multiple signs or this could just be that person or, you know, it could be that people. But this is what they're going to reach out for, okay? Because multiple people could reach out to you for the same type of reason. You know what I mean? So, um... Yeah, they could be just letting you know, like, hey, somebody, they want to like, uh, like, they feel like something's disrupting your stability, or they're, or they're letting you know about disruption to your stability. But I feel like this person, this person has uh, secrets, and they're, and it's too heavy for them to carry, and they want to uh, release that and start a brand new period, a brand new cycle with you. But they want to end one out, and they want to end out this opportunity for you to find other people or new new opportunities. So if it's like a job, they want to reach out and keep you from going independent or going rogue. They want you to stay with them and, and rebuild and they want you to feel like it's hard out there, like you won't find another chance or opportunity. And that's what it is with this relationship. It's, if it's a relationship, they want you to feel like there aren't any better opportunities than them. Like this is stable. I want you to know that's what they want. They feel like you're meant to be here. This is the North Node. They feel like you were meant to be in their life. You know, like this was meant to be in there. This, either they feel like you're a soulmate or you were meant to be in their life. But this is a person who pretends that they like to be alone. You know, and so... They may convince you that you should stay alone or something like that. 
you know what I mean, or be with them. But anyway, pile three, that was your reading. Thanks. Oh, wait, let's go over signs. Did I go over signs? I did go over signs. So pile three, <laughs> that was your reading. Thanks for watching. This is your boy, Noonie, and it's Leo in the third house. <sighs> Boom, pile four. So pile four, who's going to reach out to you next and why? So it could be a Taurus. Um, could be a Sagittarius. Could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Could be a Scorpio. Could be a Libra. All right, this person wants to build some type. They want to. This it's about work. They want to. They want some type of assistance. Uh, we got leg up in reverse, but they want you to take the lead. All right, now there's, there's something deeper to this. Like, they're not really explaining there. There's, there's more to the story than what they're telling you. Um, this could be, like, they want you to maybe problem solve something for them. Because um, you got five of swords and temperance. So they want you to heal some type of conflict they have. They haven't really quite made a decision about how they want to go forward or move forward. They're not quite sure in what direction. You have nothing will come of this situation with uh, with the leg up. <clears throat> so they're, 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 this is a person who... Um, they may have went through like a difficult time. They may feel like they need some type of assistance and they want you to be the one who who uh, takes the lead. They want you to be in charge. Uh, this person feels like they, they value your, your personal uh, your personal beliefs. You know, this person is, is uh, they, they want you to have a solution. That's really the big, uh, that's really what I'm picking up. They want you to be playful and they feel like they have a lot to do. Um, they want you to like, help them relieve these uh these burdens now they're coming they're coming out of like a period of, of uh dormancy like they could have been always in the house or they could have always been quiet you know what i mean there's like the energy of them being quiet needing a rest needing some time out and that's what it is like they see like you've already done that and that through healing and taking that time out and walking away from things that were causing you stress or or grief that you found a level of independence and that you're at peace so they want you to do the same thing for them pretty much they want you to show them how to do it. They want you to basically problem solve or squash what, whatever issues they're having. They want you to basically it's like kind of like get the underlining message. They want you to show them how to process emotions. You know, this is what this is. They want you somehow they want you to walk them through. So if this they want you to process, show them how, like show them the depth of something here. Like they want you to be a leader, but they want you to show them, like walk them through it step by step. All right. Now they, they may they may want you to be like a mentor. You know, like they want you to slow down and show them how to follow their intuition or how to trust in what they know to be true. You know, maybe this person is suffering from psychic attacks because um, I'm getting like they're tired and they're coming out of a out of a caterpillar a caterpillar phase. So they're they're about to show the world who they really are, or they're about to show people who they've become. Like there's a transformation phase for them. So this person, with nothing will come of this situation, nothing new will come of this. So like. Where it's already at, nothing is going to change for them or for you, for this situation. Nothing is really going to change, but they're going to reach out to you because they're hoping that you can uh, lead them in the right direction in terms of like how to heal this conflict within themselves. Like they're not quite sure if they should leave a situation or walk away from a situation. And they kind of want to get your advice about it. They want to see how you feel about it. How did you do it? That's what it is. Like It's more like, how did you do it? How do I make this situation better? How do I... How do I improve on this? So this could be like a creator or this could be like someone who you work with. Like they're, they're wondering how do they make more money or how do they establish themselves? They, they want to get some level of, of security and they feel like the way that they've gone about it hasn't produced any fruit. Like it's nothing has happened. Nothing has come of the situation with what they planted. It hasn't done what they want. So they're reaching out to you in the form of a leg up and they want you to be the one that's in charge of what happens next. You know what I mean? They, this is a person who's usually independent and they normally do things on their own. They may be stab established. Or this, if, if this isn't a Taurus or, or a Sagittarius or a Libra or a Scorpio or a Capricorn, Virgo, this is a person who's uh, just very materialistic. They're really focused on finances and security and uh, not public perception, but they're just worried about their income. They're worried about the, 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 the 3D. They're worried about uh, practical matters, things that matter. They could be even worried about their health their wealth, their stability, a house, car. They're, they're worried about something physical, you know, and they feel like that nothing is coming up right now. So they're looking for some type of assistance, some type of leg up, and they just want you to be in charge. Um, they're not quite sure 
if they're even going in the right direction, they feel like if they if they leave this situation, because they kind of want to, it's like an energy of them kind of like want to scrap this whole situation and just kind of walk away from it and just kind of like spend some time alone and just maybe vacation or just like spend time alone, period. Like just find some time to like heal or focus on them. But at the same time, they feel like maybe they need to persevere or continue to push forward. They feel like maybe they're not seeing things in the right view, that maybe they need to look at things in a different perspective. And that's what they're hoping that you can do. They're hoping that you can fix this for them, that you can give them some type of verbal communication that allow them to see the, the depth of what they're looking at because they feel like they're not seeing the full picture or like they're not seeing, they feel like they're only seeing the iceberg of it and they're not really seeing the depth. Like they want you to go more in depth. They feel like you have a deeper understanding or a deeper knowledge that'll help them come to a, a clearer conclusion or a brighter future or something like they feel like you help them become stable or independent. That's what they're really reaching out for. They're helping that they're hoping that you'll help them listen to their own intuition and that they can become stable somehow. All right. This person wants you to to just take on the burdens and the responsibility. You know what I mean? This I don't feel like I mean it could be a partnership, but this could be somebody who's like feeling like they're of a lower level than you and they feel like you're higher and have more experience or more status or more intelligence or more emotional depth or more emotional wisdom and they feel like you would know how to fix this situation for them this person is currently learning to find this level of independence for themselves and they and they have like this energy of innocence this could be a child you know what I mean where they want you to take on responsibilities for them and they feel like you have more information you know this could be like a child or this could be a person who's just not like if it's an entrepreneur this could be like a person who just doesn't really understand how to make a business grow so they're just asking you they want you to kind of like push them forward show them what they could be experiencing where where pitfalls might lie and kind of like point out the, you know the bloopers that they may experience because you maybe they feel like you're more experienced like you have more um you have more wisdom more intelligence than them you know and this area of life and so they want you in terms of finances or budgeting or like stability they feel like you know more about this and so they want they want to like pick your brain they want you to just take charge and help them out you know slow it slow it down to a pace that they can understand so they can process it and so that they can get it and that way they can they can utilize it for themselves and give themselves a sense of personal power like you have they want to have like that same energy of personal power that you have because that's what it is like they've seen you go through like a transformation or healing a, a aspect of yourself where you were at conflict within yourself and not fully expressing yourself and they feel like you learn how to do it and they want to be that way. They want to they want to be just as playful. They want to be able to look at the world with the world like with the creative eyes. They want this is really about them finding some type of level of power in their creative ability or finding some type of level of power in their independence or in their sensuality. So if this is like a, a friend or, or a partner or a lover, they're like they want to they want to learn how to be as independent or independent or as, as alluring as you. Because it's like an energy of feeling like you've healed some aspect that you weren't quite comfortable with yourself uh, at currently. And then you found a level of independence or a level of confidence within yourself. And they're still at conflict and they want to take charge of their life as well. And they want you to show them how to do it because you've already done it. And so they just, that's, that's it. They just look at you as like, um, like a role model. You know, they don't, it's, I don't really feel like they're using you. I feel like they look at you as a role model as going through some heavenly transformation and that you come out on a better side, looking very good having a lot of information, knowing a lot more, being more in depth or more in, more in tune with yourself. And they want you to basically just show them how to do that. They want you to show them how you do that, walk me through it, because I don't know. And you seem like you know a lot. And so that's who this person is. You know, they feel like they have a lot to do. So I do kind of feel like maybe they're starting a business or they're starting out some type of skill or behavior that's brand new for them. And they feel like you're already established and you already know what you're doing. So just show me, you know what I mean? That's, that's really it. It's like, just show me. They're not being negative. They're not being abusive in my book. They, they don't seem like that. They feel like, you know, they're coming out of this caterpillar stage and they're like, it's a brand new life for me. It's a brand new world for me. Like, show me what the world can hold for me. Like, show me how you discover the world. Show me how you've learned everything that you've learned. And so that way I can experience life the way that you did, because I like the way that you're doing it. Life is looking very good for you. You're looking very stable. You're looking very abundant, you know, and it's not working for me the same way. So help me, show me, you know what I mean? And that's, that's pretty much who this person is. All right. So let's go over the signs one more time. This could be a Taurus. This could be a Sagittarius. This could be a Capricorn, a Virgo, a Libra, or a Scorpio. Okay. All right. So, uh. Oh, wait, it's a Virgo. It could be a Virgo, too. I said that already? Yeah, it did. So it could be one or multiple signs of them reaching out to figure that out, okay? So, 
Pile four. That was your reading. Thanks for watching. This your boy Nooney and it's Leo and at their house.